Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is Hybrid Plus channel and in this video I want to talk about the radar. But before that I talk about the radar, I have to speak about ADAS or Advanced Drive Assistance System, which is include radar, traction control, stability control and anti-lock braking. As you can see in the display with the help of the radar, it will show us, it will tell us the safety distance between your car and your with your front car. So yes with the help of the signals you can see if it's green then you are in the safety position but if you increase this speed and you will reach to the front car or as a target we can say because the radars are sending signals to the target or to the target if it's in dangerous so again it will show the red lines and it will show the note at your dashboard and you can see at your dashboard that you are not in a safety position so related to ADAS, I have to say, but ADAS related to the radars, we have to say, have three types of the radar. One of them is the medium range radar, MRR, which operates in the 1 to 16 meter range, Then, uh, but it's for actually short. The second one is a short range radar, also SRR, which covers the... Uh, covers the 1 to 30 meter range and is useful to, for application like a blind spot detection, lane change assistance, and parking aids. For the long range radar, LWR can detect objects up to 250 meters away. At the downside, we have black diagram of the radar. The main components of the radar is the indicator, TX, and RX. Indicator, it's as work as a display. From the TX, the electromagnetic signals goes as the uh, duplexer antenna and then it will reach to the target so as i can say it will be like that transmitting antenna from the tx to have the radiation of electromagnetic signals then when it will reach to the up target it will comes back it reached the target then uh, that back reflection absorbs by receiver antenna rx then what will happen as inputs and information goes to the radar display radar display or indicator so the electromagnetic signals from the trx tx it's going then with the help of the rx it will absorb let's have a brief explanation related to help a pulse doppler radar send out a short pulse with high peak power at regular intervals known as the pulse Reputation interval PRI in these systems often called half duplex after the transmitter has sent the pulse it is turned off and the receiver is activated the receiver is activated and measure the time of flight TOF by which the distance of the reflecting object can be calculated so the main components of the radar is indicator that you can read, then you can see the values, then TX, which is sending the electromagnetic signals, and the RX, which is getting and absorbing the electromagnetic signals from the target. Then it will decode, it will decode the information, and you can see on the display. The radar sensors are generally mounted to all four sides, front, rear, left, and right of the back of your vehicle. In here, I like I identify three type of the radars. The first one was SRR with the distance of 50 meter and the width of 80. The second one MRR distance of 100 width of 60 degree, and the third one, the third one as you can see, it will like identify the safety distance, okay, like 250 meters, but low width degree like 18 degree it depends it depends that these radars are using for which application some some cars they have two or three of them it depends for the parking for sure the first one srr will be the best option lrr for the highways will be awesome because the long distance which is 250 meter and is the uh, safety distance so thank you for watching my videos and if you like the video please subscribe my channel and press the bell button